In this video, I'm going to deal with the next questions of exercise 2.5, that is 9 to 16. Okay, so dealing with the next exercise of questions. So chapter polynomials, exercise 2.5, we are dealing with question, question 9 to 16. I solved in this. So next. So in this, before we start with the exercise, let us see which are the identities we are going to use in this exercise. So the first one, a plus b whole square, that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Second identity is a minus b whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square. Third is a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Fourth is x plus a x plus b is equal to x square plus bracket a plus b into x plus a b. x plus a x minus b is equal to x square plus a minus b times x minus a into b. x plus y plus z whole square. So x plus y plus z whole square is square of the three terms. That is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 into xy. 2 into xy, yz, 2 into yz plus 2 into zx. Okay, that's all you need to remember. Next, a plus b bracket raised to 3. That is a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3 plus 3ab into a plus b. Next, a minus b whole raised to 3 is equal to a raised to 3 minus b raised to 3 minus 3ab into a minus b. a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3 is equal to, see I want this part. So what I do, I take this to the left. So it becomes a plus b whole raised to 3 minus 3ab into a plus b. Here now I want a plus b whole raised, a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3. It can also be written as a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. a raised to 3 minus b raised to 3. So from this I am deriving this. So take this one, this side becomes plus 3ab. So a minus b whole raised to 3 plus 3ab into a minus b. a raised to 3 minus b raised to 3 could also be written as a minus b a in second bracket a square plus ab plus b square. x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 minus 3xyz is equal to first bracket x plus y plus z and in the second bracket x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. Okay, now if x plus y plus z is 0, suppose this is 0, if this is 0, 0 into this whole thing goes, it becomes 0. That means x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 will be equal to, because this is minus, it comes, this side becomes plus 3xyz. Clear? Now let us go to the question. Let's start with the first question. Ninth question, that is, x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 is equal to x plus y x square minus xy plus y square. So, we have just seen the identity. x plus y whole raised to 3 is a raised to 3. a plus b whole raised to 3 is a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3 plus 3ab into a plus b. So, in place of a and b, we have got x and y. So, it is x plus y whole raised to 3 is equal to x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3, plus 3xy into x plus y. What we want? We want x raised to 3, y raised to 3. So this we require. So let's keep it here. Take this one to this side, left side. So what will happen? x plus y whole raised to 3 minus 3xy bracket x plus y is equal to x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3. Now if you see here, you got x plus y, x plus y. Let's take out x plus y common. To take out x plus y common, so x plus y raised to 3, it is one time, one bracket is removed, so two brackets more. So x plus y whole square minus 3xy is equal to x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3. Now this one, a plus b whole square for this particular identity we use. So it will become a square plus 2ab plus b square minus 3ab is equal to x raised to 3y. x plus y has it. Now if you see here, 2xy minus 3xy will be only minus 1xy. So it will become x plus y, x square minus xy plus y square is equal to 
x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3. So that's what we have proved the first one. Now let's take the second one. Here again, we use the identity x minus y whole raised to 3 x raised to 3 minus y raised to 3 minus 3xy into x minus y. Take this one, this side, it becomes plus. So it will be x minus y whole cube plus 3xy into x minus y. x minus y take out common, x minus y. So it will be x minus y whole square plus 3xy. Now a minus b whole square identity forms this. It will be a square minus 2xy plus y square plus 3xy. 3xy minus 2xy is plus 1xy. So it is x minus y, x square plus 1xy plus y square is equal to x raised to 3 minus y raised to 3. Hope you clear. Now let's go to the next. Tenth question. Factorize each of the following. 27y raised to 3 plus 125 is raised to 3. Let us see how to do it. Now 27. So it is, you have only three, two terms and both are having cubic power. So it should be a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3, which could be written as x plus y, x square minus xy plus y square, which we have just derived in the ninth question. So that means this should be a cube of something. Why is a cube of, but 27? 27 is a cube of 3. So this could be written as 3y cube and 125 is a cube of 5. So this could be written as 3y cube plus 5z raised to 3. So your x is 3y and y is 5z. So when you put it in this formula, it will be 3x plus 5z, then 3y square minus 3y into 5z plus 5z square. So if you think it, 3y square is 9y square minus 3 5 or 15 y z 15 y z plus 5 square is 25 so 25 z square okay this is it now you also know that you have another formula for this so let us try the other one the other way is same sum we are taking using the different formula x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 is equal to x plus y raised to 3 minus 3 x y into x plus y using this you see, it is 3y raised to 3 plus 5z raised to 3. So as per this, it should be 3y plus 5z raised to 3 minus 3 into 3y into 5z times 3y plus 5z. Now this is as it is, you keep it. But here 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 5 is a 45. 45yz into 3y plus 5z. You can open this bracket. When you open this bracket, it become 45 into 3. And y is here, oh, there's a y here, it will become y square, is it? And when you multiply with this, it is 45 into 5, y, z and z is just z square. So it will be like this. It will become 3y plus 5z raised to 3 minus 45, 3 is of 135, y square z minus plus is minus 45, 5 is of 225, y z square. Clear? Now let's take the second one. 64m raised to 3. Minus 343n raised to 3. So it is x raised to 3 minus y raised to 3. That is x minus y, x square plus xy plus y square. So here, this is 64 is a cube of 4. 4, 4 is 16, 16, 4 is 64. So it is 4m raised to 3. 7 cube, that is 7, 7 is a 49, 49, 7 is a 343. So this is 7 n raised to 3. So your x is 4m, y is 7n. So let's put it in this. So 4m minus 7n, 4m square plus 4m into 7n plus 7n square. So this is 4m minus 7m, 4 square is 16, 16m square, 7 4s are 28m plus 7 square is 49n square. Now do the thing with the other identity. So you take your x raised to 3 minus y raised to 3, we could x minus y raised to 3 plus 3xy into x minus y. So this 4m raised to 3 minus 7n raised to 3. So it is 4m minus 7n raised to 3 plus 3, 4m into 7n times 4m minus 7n. So it is 4m minus 7n raised to 3 
7, uh, 3, 4 is a 12, 12, 7 is a 84 mn and 4m minus 7n. 84 into 4 you have to do and so it will be 4m minus 7n raised to 3 plus 336 m square n. m is here, m is here, so m square n it becomes plus minus is minus. So 84 7 is a 588. n is here, so n square it becomes so 588 mn square. So you can do by this method also, in this method also. So sometimes what it so happens that backside when the answer is given, it will be different and you will get confused. Hurry, my answer is not matching. So they would have done by this method and got this answer. And you would have done by this and you would have got this answer. So both are correct, but only the identity being used is slightly different. Okay, let's go to the 11th question. 11th question, now you have to factorize. See here, cube, 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 you have three cubes. An identity which having three cubes, this is that, see this, 27, the cube will be x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 minus 3xyz. This is the identity having three cubes. So this will be the answer. So this should be a cube. What is cube it is? It is 3x cube. This is the cube of y and this is the cube of z. And it should be 3 into x into y into z. That is 3 into 3x into y into z. So this is a 9, 9xyz, 9xyz. So it exactly matches with our identity. So the x should be 3x, y should be y, z should be z. Let's put them in this equation, identity. So it is 3x plus y plus z, 3x square plus y square plus z square minus 3x into y, that is x into y, minus y into z minus z into 3x. So this will be 3x plus y plus z, 3x square is 9x square plus y square plus z square, 3 into xy, minus yz, minus 3 into zx. Okay. Next, verify that x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 minus 3xyz is equal to this. So let us see. Let's start with the right side, this side of something. We are starting with this. So half, I have just copied this as it is. Now here you see a minus b whole square, a minus b whole square, a minus b whole square, identity can be used here. So 1 by 2 x plus y plus z, keep this as it is. a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a, we got x and b has got y. So it is x square minus 2xy plus y square. Here it is y square minus 2yz plus z square. And here it is z square minus 2zx plus x square. Okay. Now, if you see here, you got x square here, you got an x square here. Your y square, y square, z square, z square. Z square. So, every term is 2, 2 times. So, it will be 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx. You see, this entire, all these terms are having 2 as its coefficient. Take out 2 common. When you take out 2 common, you will get x square plus y square plus z square minus x one minus y z minus zx. You could cancel 2 and 2. So if you cancel this, what is left? This bracket x plus y plus z, x square plus y square plus z square minus x one minus y z minus zx. But this is exactly like this identity. That means its answer should be x raised to 3, y raised to 3. Therefore, it will be x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 minus 3 x, y, z, which is the left side. Correct. So this exactly is this. just see observe these two identities. This is exactly the same. So it is this clear. X. Let us go to the thirteenth question. X plus y plus z is zero. Show that this whole thing is zero. X raised to three plus y raised to three plus z raised to three is three x plus z. So the identity three cubes the identity which is this is a cube. Now what is given? x plus y plus z is 0. This is 0. So let's put 0 here. x plus y plus z is 0. If you put here 0 into this. 0 when multiplied by anything will be 0. So that means what will happen? This left right side becomes 0. So x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 minus 3xyz is 0. Let us take minus term this side become plus 3xyz. So it will become 
x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 is equal to 3xyz. That's what we have to prove. Put in question. Without actually calculating the cubes, find the value of each of the following. Minus 12 raised to 3 plus 7 raised to 3 plus 5 raised to 3. First one. So let us see the first one. We have just proved above. What we have proved? If x plus y plus z is 0, then x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 plus z raised to 3 should be equal to 3 into x into y into z. So here if you see, what is your x? x is minus 12. What is y? 7, z, 5. So you see in this, what is your x? x is equal to 12, y is equal to 7, z is equal to 5. If you add x plus y plus z, minus 12 plus 7 plus 5. 7 plus y is 12, minus 12. Minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So that means x plus y plus z is 0. Therefore, cube of this should be 3 into minus 12 into 7 into 5. There is a minus sign, so it will have minus. Multiply 12 into 3 into 7 into 5, you'll get 1260. So because of this minus sign, it will be minus 1260. Second one. Here, x is 28, y is minus 15, and z is minus 13. So it is x plus y plus z is 28 minus 15 minus 13, that is 28 minus 28 is 0. So that is, here it will be 3 into 28 into minus 15 into minus 13. Minus minus is plus, so it will be a positive value. And when you multiply all these four numbers, you'll get 16,380. Yeah. Now, next 15 question. Give possible expressions for the following length and breadth of each of the following rectangles in which their areas are given by. So this is the area. Okay. Now, if this is the area, you need to factorize this. So how do you factorize? You have to multiply, the, find the cofactors of this. If you add, you should get 35. Okay. 25 and 12 factors of 25 and 12. If you add those factors, you should get 35. See this. 25, 12. Two table I'm dividing. Two, six are 12. 25 doesn't go into it. Again, two table. 25 doesn't go right. 25, two threes are. Then three table, three ones are three. Then five fives are 25, five ones are five. Now you, these are the factors of 25 and 12. Now you have to take a combination of this so that when you add, you will get 35. Now you see here, 3 5s are 15. Okay, fine. 5 and 2 to the 4. 4 into 5 is 20. 20 plus 15 is 35. So that means our middle term should be 20 and 15. So now see the, let's break it. So 25a square minus 20a minus 15a plus 12. Take common from the first two terms, 5a, 5a minus 4. Common from the next two terms, 3, 3 is common, so 3 into 5a minus 4. First, if you are not able, you can write this as 3 5s are and 3 4s are and take out 3 common. Now this bracket is common, take out bracket, so it is 5a minus 4. In the second bracket is 5a minus 3. So this is, this are the factors of this. Now this is area, area is this into this. Now, what is area? Length is 5a minus 4 and breadth is 5a minus 3. Okay. Or it can also be length is 5a minus 3 and breadth is 5a minus 4. Because area is length into breadth. And this could be length and this could be breadth. Or this could be length and this could be breadth. Both possibilities are there. There is no fixed way which is the length and which is breadth. Second one. Here again, 35, 12. But here now, when you subtract this, you should get 13. Subtracting the factors of 35 and 12. Let's say this. 35 and 12. 2 6 are, 2 3 are, 3 1 are. Then 5 7 are, 7 1 are. Now the factors. 3 5 are 15. 2 2 are 4. 4 7 are 28. 28 minus 15 is 13. So let's break this. Middle term has 28 plus 28 minus 15. So it will be 35y square plus 28y minus 15y minus 12. 
7 is a compactor. So 7 5s are 35. Y is outside. 1 no Y inside. 1 no Y outside. Y is already out there. 7 4s are 28. Now here, 3 table it goes. 3 is common. So 3 5s are 15 and 3 4s are 12. Okay. Because you have taken a minus sign, this size has become plus. 5y minus 4, 5y minus 4, you are getting the same thing. So let us take out 5y minus 4. So second bracket will have 7y minus 3. So 5y plus 4, in second y, second bracket will be 7y minus 3. That means your length is 5y plus 4 and breadth is 7y minus 3. Or your length will be 7y minus 3 and breadth is 5y plus 4. Now the next question, 16th question. What are the possible expressions of, for the dimensions of the cuboid whose volumes are given? This is a volume given. So let us see volume. Now see here, what you have, you have some, whatever is common, you take out common ones. 3x is common. So 3, because this comes 3x into x will be 3x square, 3 into 4, 12, into 12x. So if you see this, 3x and into x minus y is the factors of this. Now you cannot further break it down. So now let us see what is volume. Volume is length into breadth into height. So your length should be 3. Breadth should be x. And height should be x minus 4. Clear? x. So these are the three factors. Now let us take the second one. Now here, k is here, k is here, k is here. First let us, and what else is common? 12, 8, 4, 20. Again, 4 table is common. So let us see. 4K is common. When you take out 4K, 4 3s are 12. 12K y square. 4 2s are 8. KY. And 4 5s are 20K. Clear? Now you have to split it. Now you see, if we want to sub factors of 3 and 5, the sub minus, you should get 2. So 5 and 3 are outside. They are the factors. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So let us take. This has 4k, 3y square plus 5y minus 3y minus 5. Because 5 minus 3 is 2. Take common from these two. Only y is common. So take out y. 3y plus 5. And nothing is common. Take out 1. So 3y plus 5. So take out this. It becomes y minus 1, 3y plus 5. So again, if you see, it is a length into breadth into height. Your length will be 3, 4k, breadth will be y minus 1, and height will be 3y plus 5. Clear? Now, I've given you a practice exercise. See, these are the questions you just given. Practice them. It will. I will write this in a separate video. I'm solving this in my next video separately because the video is becoming too long. So that's why I tried to shorten it. So I've solved this. A practice exercise 2.5 on a separate video. Okay. If you like it, please subscribe for the channel and also click on the like button and share it with your friends. It could be of your videos. Thank you.